I think this is one of my favorite places to go to reset my mind, to just kind of forget about everything in the real world and to just get re-inspired, you know, to make new paintings and, and different things. And it doesn't always necessarily mean you have to travel somewhere if you want to paint a new landscape scene and you, you want it to be all these big mountains. You don't have to go to the west coast for that to happen. For myself, I come to a place like right here where I'm at right now. It's so peaceful. There's beautiful trails, there's beautiful trees, and there's a you know, little waterfalls and, and obviously a huge lake. But there's a lot of beauty here and it helps me. And I do this every week just about. I, I always go somewhere locally and I free my mind. And I think that's why I'm sharing this with you guys because a lot of people send me messages that they're frustrated and they can't get through certain things or they can't find the motivation to start a picture. They just don't know what to do. And I just want to let you know this is something important. This is something very important to do. Get out. Forget about everything that's going on in life. Free your mind, get re-inspired, and this is how you do it right here. So I just wanted to share that with you guys before we get started today. It's super, super important. And it doesn't just get you inspired to make a new painting or do something, you know, some form of art, but it really helps your soul inside, and it really does. It does to me, and it keeps me going just to get out and see beautiful things in the nature and the deer and the birds. And I even seen a fish jump earlier. It was pretty cool, and a turtle. But, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys before we get started. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'll see you in a few seconds. We're gonna do something really cool. Sit tight. back in and I think I think I'm ready to go I think I'm ready to go with something on the easier side as always to get me back in the groove of things after a few days I always like to do something a little bit more simple so I've already I uh, put some uh, the clear gel I put a little bit of white paint in there too I mixed it about like 50 50 about halfway up just for the sky area I think I'm gonna put a mountain in here too so I've done that all the paints I'll list below, they are by Gamblin, my favorite paints in the world. Go check out Gamblin, and I think it's gamblinoilcolors.com. I will put the link down below. They have fantastic paint. If you have never tried it before, you must try it. All right, so I think I'm gonna set that down. And I'm gonna grab, I don't, I don't use the two inch too often, but I'm gonna use it today. You mix me up a color. I'm going to take a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of black, a little bit of blue, black, <clears throat> and a little bit of red. And I'm going to lighten that up just a hair and just see what that gives me. All right. It's not like a vibrant blue color. It's like a little bit of a grayish grayed out blue which is cool. I'm just getting some more color. If you get too much on, just wipe it off. 
So this is just a little blue, black, and red to give us a nice uh, grayish, grayish blue sky. A little bit more red. Let me see what a little bit more red will do. That looks good. So I hope all you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's painting. I know we have our, on our Facebook group, we have a monthly painting challenge. And I'm happy to say that a lot of people have submitted, which is awesome. And look forward to that every month. We're gonna have another one next month and every month after. So if you wanna check that out, I will put the link to our page down below and head on over and send over a request and I will accept it. All right, let's take a look here. All right, let me step back. All right, I think that's good. I think that is good. So, you know, what I always say is get your, get your color in, get it in there, don't blend it to death and move on. All right, let me grab, my brushes are over here. I just got to move them to this side. I actually just got done relocating uh, all of my stuff, all of my, the painting area. I'm not in the same spot, I'm in a different location. And we're gonna see how this works out. I'm gonna grab me, where are we at? Okay, fan brush. I'm gonna put in a few little clouds while we're at it. So, I'm gonna grab a little bit of white and uh, I, I think this color has a little bit of red in it. Really not noticeable. I'm just gonna put a couple clouds right up here. Just swirl them in, I guess. Nice and simple. Something that'll, you know, make you wanna paint. Bring that back like this. I'm just doing these little circles like this. And I keep, I keep reloading because you'll run out of paint pretty quickly doing it like this, like sort of like a scrub method. I just want this to be a very, very simple painting. Change that up a little bit, maybe make it go this way like that. All right, let me set that down real quick. I'm gonna grab, I'm probably just gonna grab the, this two inch here. We used it for the sky, but I'm just gonna wipe it off. And let's do this. I just wanna blend the bottom of these out real quick. Same thing up here. To see how this looks. All right. Add a little bit more into that corner there. Maybe right there. So I went down to the lake area today and I just looked around and saw some different things and just kind of got my mind off of everything else for the time being and you know just got re-inspired and it, it's like I said earlier it's definitely possible to do you just got to get out and do it that's all you got to do and I think I'm going to put just a few more uh, maybe maybe I'll have something smaller like back here like this little lines or something like that I'll soften these up real quick too. Maybe these look a little bit distant, a little further away. All right, something like that. Let me put that brush back up there, move my fan brush. Where can I put that? All right, I'll set that right there. All right, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab the knife now and I hope you guys can hear me okay. Like I said, this is a new little setup I got going on right now, new location. So I'm gonna grab the knife and I'm gonna get some blue, get some blue, and I'm gonna get some black and red. Equal amounts, I'm just using blue, black, and red. And I'm gonna get a little bit of white and see what that looks like. I'm gonna make a mountain 
small mountain today. And I just want that for my base color. All right. So I want to come right up to about, um, yeah, in that area right there. Bring this down like that. Drop that there. I think that color is good. We'll know in a few minutes. Bring it down over to this way and then make another little bump right there, I guess. I don't want to go too big on this, so I got to be careful because you guys probably do know that if you drag it down too far, it'll, you know, it'll move around on you and turn out much, uh, much bigger than you wanted it. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go back to the same old dirty brush here. And I'm going to pull some of this out here real quick just to not worry about it over here. We got some trees coming over there. So I'm going to bring this a little bit this way. We got some stuff over there too. Not too worried about that. I just do not want it to grow too much. I'm using just like a light pressure. I love when I pull it down, I, I use like a light light pressure. Soften it up a little bit. Boom. All right. Let me uh, take a step back and make sure. All right. I think the placement is good on that. So this is going to be a very, very easy mountain today. So let me grab some hmm, white. Just some white. Get some on here. And we'll just throw a few of these little things on over here like this. My favorite, favorite way always of making these little mountains. It's so satisfying, I think, just to drop this knife down and just kind of do your thing, you know. Put some up there, maybe there like this. I got some trees going on the, uh, the left side, so I don't really want to go too much overboard. I just want to get some here. I still got to put some shadow color in too. Drop some there too. Back there like that. All right. I may end up scraping some of that off. Let me see here. I didn't want it that high. So look, I'm going to adjust it. That'll be some shadow color right there probably. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to grab a little bit of blue. I want a nice, pretty, pretty light blue color. Like a nice little shadow color. A little bit more. Make sure you guys stick around till the end of the video. I got something, uh, I'm not giving it away today, but I want to show you. Got a cool little giveaway coming up here soon. I want to show you guys. This is just a light blue color right here. I'm just going to drop some of this color right there like this. Bring it right down like that. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty blue. I actually like that a lot. And then I guess we can just start here. Get a little bit more paint on there. Drop some right in there like that. All the little areas that you want shadows to be in. And then bring some down that way. Leave some of that dark in there though. I think that looks cool. All right. All right, I'm gonna come right here. I actually put a little bit more blue right here. You may not notice. You might, maybe not. Easy little mountain right there so far. OK. 
Okay, let me scrape my blue out of the way. Wipe it off, my knife off on the paper towel. Okay, let me get back into this little, little bit of white real quick and then a little hair in it. And I think I just want to brighten this little right there up, that little section there. Something like that. And you see like this little straight little line right there? I wanna, I just wanna separate that so it's not, you know, just one straight line. All right. Let me just grab a little bit more of the blue color, the pretty blue that we got going on. And then drop some of that right there like this. Put a little bit darker color in there too. Okay, there's that. Now I'm, I'm actually just going to probably use the the color that we use for the base of the mountain, and I'm going to put a little bit of, of our blue into that. I always like to do this. I always like to make a little bit of a area, you know, darker in the in the front area, like this. That's all. It just gives it a little bit more of a, I personally think like a little bit more texture, maybe it's a little closer, stuff like that. Okay. Two inch, I'm just gonna smooth this up a little bit. You can, there's multiple ways you can tap it or you can go like this. Tapping is cool though. Well, this didn't grow too much on me, so that's cool. All right. Standard, easy, little mountain. Got a coffee going here and everything. I'm all set up today. Okay. All right, what am I gonna use here? I'll probably just keep going. I got this big old one going. I wanna put something back here, so I wanna use what do I want to use? I'm going to get a little bit more of the blue. I want some blue. I don't want to use a lot of paint white. And I think I'm going to put a little red in there maybe. I don't know. I got to see how this color looks though. I think I'm going to, should I put green in there? Maybe. Uh. We'll see. A little bit of green wouldn't hurt, I guess. I just want to make something like far, look like far away. Little trees or something. Let's see how that works. Needs to be darker. A little bit darker. I want to bring it right down like this. Something like that. Okay, let me wipe that off real quick. I'm actually gonna take some white. Oh, I went right into my uh, white with my blue. I gotta, <laughs> I think I ruined my pile of white. All right, let me go in here real quick. I just wanna tap some white into here. I can always wipe this off. Like if I have too much paint going, that's not a big deal. Just wanted to separate the two. Swirl that up a little bit. I'm gonna just lift up a little bit on this because these are far away. It's supposed to be far away. All right, do, do, moving right along. All right, let me get some more blue. I'm gonna get a tiny bit of, a mm, little bit of black and green. Let me see how this color looks here. A little yellow ochre maybe. I'm just using the big old brush here. 
I normally don't use the two inch. All right, let's see. I want to, more color, blue and green. Let's try this. See, this is what I do. It's like trial and error. See that? Trial and error is what this is. All right, I got a lot of paint on this brush now. <laughs> and I just want to come right down just like this. Okay, a little bit more paint. Make it a little bit darker because I don't know where the bottom is going to be. But I keep dipping back in. So this is just like, this to me, this is like the fun, this is like the fun way of painting to me. That's my opinion. Everybody has their ways, but this is one of my favorite ways right here because it's just so relaxing and all that good stuff. I got trees coming in here. So I'm just gonna put some of this color down here for, for whatever we got going on. Maybe we'll have a little, you know, like maybe there'll be some land here and maybe it'll come like this and right off of the canvas, something like that, see? Let me just actually tap some of this color and I, I really, I don't know where this is going. I haven't planned it out or nothing like that, but I'm just throwing some color in. And we can separate all this stuff, I'll show you in a few minutes. All right, I normally do a sketch. I'm not doing a sketch today, but I am gonna take the knife and some blue, black, and green, all right, blue, black, and green, and I want to get some color down into here to move around and work with. So, see, you get it on down there and you just work with it. Little hill, see, just like that. All right, let me set the knife down. And I'm gonna put some trees here, but I'll just actually take this big old two inch, right? And just go on in here and just start tapping away. See, make some background stuff. Some of this probably won't show through, but who cares? See that? All right. So one thing I could have done a little bit differently, which I like challenges. We have some blue sky up here. We didn't put anything really down there, right? But we can do that. We can just tap a little bit of this uh, blue where we have red in there or something like that. We could put a little bit of this color in here like this. We don't need too much because we're gonna have like a, you know, the reflection is what's above. See that? So I'm just kinda, you know, working it in. It doesn't matter how you do it. You could do circles. You know, you could pull it, you could pull it straight down. You can do whatever you want, really. I just want to get this spot in right here. And I'm going to wipe this off. All right. And then, yeah, so you can do this if you want. You can, you can pull it, pull the color down if you want. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm going to go side to side like this. See that? Perfect, huh? And I'll, I'll refix this land. I can go back over top of the land if I want to. But this is why I like painting like this is because it's just so much, so much fun. It's so forgiving. You can do all kinds of different things and it's so easy to fix. And I think our, I think our water is gonna come off right about there. It's actually a pretty cool color, <laughs> like a nice green little river, even though it's not gonna stay that big because I gotta fix it. I gotta shape it up a little bit. So let me grab, uh, grab some of our color here. Okay, I said we got trees coming there. I probably want this land to come out back there like that because I want it to be narrow back there and then I want it to kind of open up and then come around like this. And then kind of go like that, you see? And this here, yeah, like I said, I'm not worried about this. You could just tap, 
color, do whatever you want there. All right, so let me get some more color. I got to work on the other side here. You can tap it in or we can go like this. You can always spread paint down with the knife, okay? Always spread it down with the knife and then you can come back and, you know, work it in, okay? There's so many different ways you can, you can do any painting, not just this kind here, okay? All right, that's in, so watch this. See that, tapping this in, making that narrow back there like that. This is all dark, but when I start putting some highlights on here in a second, it'll, it'll separate it, okay? All right, before I do that though, let me wipe the knife off here and grab me a nice little color. I'm gonna try to get me a little separation in the back, some form of a maybe water line or something. So I'm gonna use white with a tiny bit of uh, tiny bit of blue in it, just so it's not pure white. But I just want to go back here and just have something, so I don't have to worry about putting it in later. We'll go right over that with some highlight. Not a big deal. Boom. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Before I go too, too far, maybe I'm going to pull some of this color down here. Like some of this dark. So there's like some form of reflection here. Okay. A little bit there too. Right. Okay, so over here we can actually put, watch this. I'll do this right now. I love putting these little, these little water lines in. Make them more lighter in this area here. Like the further back you want to make them light. You don't want to make them too, too pronounced. All right, so we got a few water lines. We can adjust them. Now, what do I want to do? I want to take maybe this two inch. Let's try this real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to take the, the, I'm going to use the one inch brush at least back here. And I want to start putting in a few little, little highlight areas for us. So let me take some uh, yellow here and a little bit of green some yellow ochre also. It'll just give us a nice little, nice little green color, yellowish green color. All right, so I think our light's coming from this way. So I'll probably just start back here and I'm gonna just put in a few areas like that, a little bit of grass. Okay, and you can start shaping your hills and different things that you have going on back here. You know, so if I have one here like this, you just start tapping them in. Let me just step back and see how that looks. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna come in here. And this is what you just do. A little bit more yellow ochre in there. You just shape your hills, you know, shape them where you want them to go. And I, I always leave a lot of dark area in. I'll switch sides <clears throat> with a little bit more of a brighter color. So I know I want something here. See that? this. 
I always, I, f I think about angles when I'm doing it like this, you know, because it helps you, you know, form your, your hill. Like this is going to drop straight down like this. And I'm just going back from like yellows, yellow ochre, stuff like that. Put a little bit more there. Okay, so it just looks like a bunch of little cool little hills happening in there. So let me get a little bit more green in this color actually. And I just want to put, <clears throat> let me do this here. Let me come right there. And you can use the two inch and get, you know, get this done much, you know, much quicker. But I just like the one inch because I feel like uh, you have a little bit more control. A little bit of yellow ochre in there. And I want to keep it dark in that corner there. Soften some of that up. <coughs> okay. Need a little bit more yellow and yellow ochre in this one here. And then let's see here. We got one here. Maybe that drops off like this. Comes right down. See that? It's simple. Pretty simple. I keep stepping back because it's important to step back. And that's like sort of what I was looking for right there was like these cool little rolly, rolly hill things. So I'm going to wipe this off real quick. All right. All right. And now I'm going to look on to the right side where I have those, these distant tree things. Let's see here. I think what I'm going to do is, let me try this. Let me just take the knife and I'll, I'll see how this does. I'm just scraping these little things in there. I normally don't do this, but I'm going to give it a try here. So, all right. So I, I still have, I still have the one inch here and I'm going to take yellow, yellow ochre and green and maybe, I don't know, a tiny bit of red and see how that looks. I just want like a, a mid, sort of like a mid tone. I don't want like a highlight color. Need some more paint. All right, let's try this here. I, I also don't want this to be like, you know, showing a lot because this is, you know, supposed to be far away. So I just want little, little areas of color, you know. Getting more yellow ochre. I'm just kind of mixing in all the different colors is really what I'm doing. Uh, come down here, put some. Maybe a little bit more yellow over there like this. See, I'm not spending a lot of time on this. Just throwing some color in, leaving the leaving a lot of the dark areas in though, because that means something. If you cover up all the dark areas, it won't look right. All right. 
I'm just wiping this off now, and I think, uh, let me grab, I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow ochre and red, and I just wanna see something here real quick. I just wanna try to mix, you know, not mix, but put a little bit of different color in here because, I don't know, I think it'll look cool, maybe, I don't know. Something like that. It just gives it more uh, variety, more color. Yellow, 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 a little bit of green, green and yellow. Same brush, one inch. I just want to put something right back there. I need some more paint though. Right back here. Something like a little highlight. Okay, all right. Well, this is like fun. This is like relaxing for me. I like doing this. Definitely like doing this. All right, I'm setting the one inch down and I have this, this two inch, even though it's dirty, I'm gonna try something. It's got blue and black and all kinds of stuff on it. I'm gonna try to, I'm going, I have some yellow and I'm taking some white <laughs> mixed in with this dirty brush. And I'm gonna try to use it for like a highlight brush we'll see what happens so right now I have the two inch the dirty two inch and I'm just mixing it yellow and white and whatever's coming off the brush all right let's see how this works I want to put just a few I'll start up here maybe a few little highlights in here little sparkles a few sparklers not too many though just to lighten it up all right so the lights gonna go there it's probably gonna hit where is it gonna hit Whew, definitely gonna hit there maybe it's gonna catch this edge here too I don't know <laughs> maybe that's the fun part you just don't never know know what it's going to touch or what it's not going to touch what it's going to hit okay all right, a little bit more paint there nice bright yellow well, that's working out for me on this brush i thought it was going to get real dirty but it's not so that's a good thing that edge it looks like cool little weeds and stuff who knows what that is <laughs> maybe I'll put a few little <laughs> since I got the two inch here I'm gonna put a few little things up here maybe like little highlights back here I don't know Got to be creative. Got to be creative. All right, I think we're good on the uh, on the highlights. I don't want to kill it because it'll it'll definitely kill it if you put too much. Uh, maybe there's a little sprinkle there. I don't know. And I see light coming right there somewhere, right through them trees. All right, wiping that off. set these paper towels down I guess if you wanted to I didn't do it you could put like some of this in the water to you know I never do this but I'll just do it since we're having fun wipe this off and then just kind of distort that it's just the color is there you know what I mean that's like the purpose it has the yellow up there down there a little reflection Okay, put that back up on the magnet. What am I looking for here now? Maybe a filbert, possibly. Not a filbert. Fan brush, maybe. I want to make a few, a few trees, like I said, on the right side. 
just wiping this off. This is the fan brush I had the white paint on. I'm gonna try to, I like this fan brush because it's all worn out and stuff. I'm just gonna try to wipe it off real quick and grab some blue, black, and green. Blue, black, and green. I just wanna put a few of these trees in. on this side right here. So a lot of this stuff is probably gonna get covered up. But I just wanna put a few, not, not too many, not too, they're not gonna be too close. So I'm gonna start right there. And I'm gonna go in here and, sorry if you can't see this. a little bit more on the green side so I'm gonna put some yellow in that color because it's dark which is all right I, I want a dark but I want it to be more green so I'm pushing up I like the little uppity trees one there I'm gonna put one now growing off the canvas because I left that little gap there okay like that do I want another one? Maybe some smaller ones, I guess. I didn't really want anything too close. You know, just something that's visible back here. shadows and stuff like that so there's just a few distant trees back there okay that's cool I want them to stay dark really I don't want to put any light color because I like how they're dark and it's kind of light over there so I kind of like that okay now I guess I'm going to maybe move over to this side here maybe I'll put one there like the old lone tree that's by itself just sitting there all alone. So I'm gonna put this, actually I want this to go right up there like this. I want that to go right there. So let me get some more yellow because I want that to be more on the green side. And then come up here and I'm just gonna push up. I'm going over this mountain area, so I'm just gonna keep on loading up and stuff and make it a little bit darker, actually. Because if you have enough paint on here, it'll, it'll go right over it. And I got these highlights and stuff. I just want it to go right there, like that. Maybe even a little, little branch sticking out of the water there, something like that. Okay, and I guess, you know what, since we're doing it, I'll just put maybe just a, let's just put one right here like this. That'll help them like grow together and I think it'll look a little bit better. Okay, like that. All right, I'm gonna grab the knife. I don't wanna leave these ones dark. So let me get some white. And I'm going to take a little bit of brown and I got some blue in there, but not too worried about that. I just want to put in something here like that. Okay. It'll show something, a little trunk. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm not using any like uh, I'm not using any paint thinner or nothing like that. But I am gonna wipe this off, and I'm going to go into pretty much uh, pure yellow. There is some green in here, and I'm gonna use this as a highlight color for the tree. All right, let me uh, make sure I have enough paint on here, okay? And then I'm just gonna try to carefully 
tap some of this color on. Just in a few little areas. But because there's so much paint down here now, unless you thin it, it's, you know, it's going to be tough to get any kind of, you know, color on there. Okay, so I just wanted a you know, little something on there. Or if, you're, if you want, you can take like a knife and you can, you know, dab a few little spots like this throughout the tree. I've done this before. See that? Okay, put some up here on the top like this. It's like touch and touch and do all that stuff like this. Make it go right out into the water, see? So you can do stuff like that right there too. All right? Let me set that down real quick. You know, and then you can take the knife and then you could just kind of make like little things, like little branches and, you know, just little textures and stuff like Nobody's really going to know exactly what they are, but there's something, you know, something going on there. We don't know quite what it is, but there's something happening there. All right. So take some of this green color and let's see. I know we got, there's going to be a little shadow there. So I'm going to just put some color back in there just to kind of connect it with the existing land. So there's something going there, something going on. All right. Dark color. This is just making texture with the knife. Okay. All right. Let me make some room here. I want to put, I want to take a filbert and some brown and black. And I want to put, I just want to put a tree like right into here. I know the clouds are here, so we're going to just have to go right over top of those. I just want to come right here. Just like this. Right back over that. Okay, nice little root. All right, you could always wipe this off if you want um, where the clouds are, but I'm not bothering because I'm just using more paint. I just want to make a little, I want to make a little branch that comes up like this. It's not a little branch, it's actually a big branch. It grows right into the tree, just like that. All right? Simple, simple and easy. That's how I like it. All right, white and yellow ochre, a little bit of red maybe. And I just wanna put a little bit of something on this side here. Give it a little bit of something going on. And I'm just holding it flat, dragging it down. Just like that. Okay. All right. And if you think that's too much, like too much light, you know, go right back and we can put a little dark in there. Actually, we can put a little black in here, I guess, into this tree. It'll cover up some of the, the highlight area. Okay, so we got our black there. And then let me see if I can do this real quick with some white and some blue. Can we get some more blue on there? I love doing this with white and blue. Take some blue and then put a little bit of 
reflected something, reflected light down the back of the tree. You don't have to do this. I do it. I feel it's like a gives a pleasing look. You see, it took all about two seconds to do, so don't spend a lot of time on it. All right, all right. One inch. Let's go back to the uh, one inch brush, and so I'm pretty much out of green, I think. So I'm going to have to improvise. I'm going to take uh, some black and some yellow here, and some yellow ochre. And I think that's going to give me something. We'll see what it gives me. Hopefully it's a leaf texture of some sort. I just want to put in a few leaves on this tree. Nothing too fancy. All right, just a, a few little things. I'm actually going to make them a little bit darker. So I'm going to set that down real quick. I'm going to try this uh, this two inch real quick. I'm just going to there we go. <laughs> Sometimes a two inch is just so much easier to work with. So this is just our dark color here, like that. A little bit of lighter green. All right, so there's just something something happening there, right? All right, let me try to, actually, I'm gonna take some yellow out of this tube here, because I wanna get a nice, uh, nice bright color, is what I wanna get. Okay, so here we go, yellow, and I'm putting it on this dirty brush, so it's turning like a cool little, little green color, which is pretty cool. But we just want it on the edge, maybe. Something like that. Not too much back there. Okay. Let me go to the one inch real quick smash down some dark color. I feel like there needs to be a little bit of dark color covering uh, some of these branches. Like, you know, there's gonna be shadows and stuff in there. Stuff like that. A little few different things happening up there, maybe. Little things like that. Do, 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 do. Two inch. You could just go on and on and on. You could just keep doing all kinds of stuff if you want to. Maybe, let me try one thing. Yellow, I'm just adding a little bit of, a little bit of white. I just want to, a little sparkle right there. A lot of paint on here. Set that there. Pop this lid off real quick. Grab me. What am I grabbing here? What am I grabbing? Looking for, looking for a little liner brush. Come in here. I'm just gonna get me a little bit of uh, like a blue brown color, sort of, whatever it is that came off of there. And I'm just gonna let's just pop in a few little little branches. Nothing too fancy. Stuff like that. Right there, have one coming off like this. Let me just step back a little bit here real quick. Just maybe one more. Just, let's just have a little, little something growing right like this. Right off the side of that tree there, and he just kind of comes up in the front like this. He 
He's got all kinds of cool stuff going on with him. And a little stump right there, maybe, who knows. And if you want, you can take a little bit of a lighter color, a little bit of a lighter brown. You can always go right back into here if you want. Put a little, you know, little things over there on the other pine trees. If you, you know, you could distort them if you want, like, you know, so it's not one straight line going through. See that? Do that if you want. And then I think. Let me just take a look here. I think that's it. I think that's it, really. I wasn't looking to do like this great painting, you know, I was just looking to have fun like I always do. So let me just pop my name on here real quick in this pretty blue color that I got going. last name you can definitely enjoy this process I have a long last name one nine here that okay get that out of the way let me just take one more step back to see what we got going on here I'm just gonna zoom this out a little bit boom just like that all right well Thanks for stopping by. I want to thank you guys for watching this. Thank you as always. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit that bell so you know. I think the bell is on this side, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, the bell is on the left side. So if this is your left side, the bell is on the left side. Click that bell. Um, look for upcoming, upcoming videos. Oh, I got to tell you something real quick. I have a giveaway happening pretty soon. I will put the details in one of the upcoming videos. I'm going to be giving away some gambling sets cartoon figure. You like that, huh? All right. So we're going to be giving away a couple of those, uh, some brush sets and a few other things coming. So I, I still have a lot of things uh, coming up in the next four or five months. So make sure that you guys subscribe, turn the bell on. Link uh, below for the Facebook page. Make sure to go over there, join. It'll be uh, a cool thing. A lot, it's like a little community there. A lot of people ask questions and post pictures and we have monthly contests. So I just want to thank you guys one last time for watching. I'll see you guys soon in the very next video. Take care. See ya.